Today we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission, which uh, put man on the moon. Uh, what we're doing here is we're doing a student challenge for the 50th anniversary where we get kids to mimic what they did on the lunar surface by taking a lunar module and landing it on the surface and then using a rover that they built with Lego Mindstorms to run a course and drop off some artifacts and pick up science objectives and bring them back successfully to the lunar module for identification. The kids are working really hard to complete the challenge. We have several teams competing. We have a team from out of town and we have two local teams here from Charleston. This type of event opens up the door and the minds of our students. It gives them the opportunity to explore STEM from a different angle, not just sitting in a classroom reading a book, but putting their hands to work, using collaborative skills, computational thinking, learning how to program, learning how to actually fly and operate a drone, doing things that you just wouldn't normally do sitting in an, a traditional classroom. What we're really hoping to teach kids out of this is to teach them about the engineering process and how the design process works. But one of the other things that we really want to let them know is uh, teach them about coding and how to work robotics and uh, really give them an open opportunity to learn what STEM has for them. To see all these future scientists and engineers working together to make this happen, it's just so much fun and we're just so excited to have it here. Most kids may be home spending their summer watching TV or playing games, but when they can come to an event like this and actually use the summer to learn something and gain some experience, it's really a great thing for the kids. Promoting STEM and robotics and just STEM in general in the community and promoting technology in the community is a valuable asset to our students. Letting them see that you don't have to be a brainiac to know how to program. Just finding that one thing that you're good at, working hard at it and putting that time and effort will open up the doors for great opportunities in their future.